Hello everybody, it's me, Caitlin. Welcome back to my corner of the internet. Today I'm super pumped for this video because this is going to be a tour of what I'm calling my stationary pouch. This is a Delphonics utility pouch that I've been using to keep all of my essential journaling items so I can easily bring this around the house with me or on the go and be able to have access to all the supplies I need for a classic journaling session. So here's a little look at the outside of the bag and I'm really excited to show you everything I keep in here in today's video. So starting with the front of the pouch, I have one pin on the outside as decoration. This is a pin I received when I joined the Bullet Journal Ambassador Program and they kindly sent this to me, so I wanted to proudly display it on the outside of my utility case. And then going into the front pockets from left to right, or I guess right to left, this first piece is a hand clip that I like to use to weigh down pages in my journals when I'm writing. It's been especially useful for my daily journal, which has gotten quite chunky because I've been doing a lot of photo journaling in it lately. And I also have right beside my hand clip my go-to ride or die favorite pen ever. This is the Zebra Sarasa Vintage in the grand style, so that just means that it's a metal body. I use this guy in my bullet journal, in my daily journal. We're in a very committed relationship and I just love this pen, so I like to keep it right at the front so I can easily grab it for all my journaling needs. Besides the pen in the clip, I have some sticky notes in the pocket right behind. These are some sticky flags that I like to use mainly for when I'm reading. I like to use these when I'm reading mystery novels and I need to keep track of different characters. And I also really like using the back of the sticky note, I guess like plastic piece, as a spot to hold washi tape samples that I have just kind of lying around so they don't get lost. On the back pocket on the left hand side, I have all of my Zebra Sarasa Vintage pens. So these are all part of the vintage set, just like the brown pen that I showed earlier. These are all the other colors that the vintage pack comes in. And I really love using these pens when I am taking a note or writing something down. I don't use these in my bullet journals generally, but I do like to have them for any other type of writing need. Alrighty, moving on to the two front pockets. On the left one, I keep just a very simple clear acrylic block. I use this for my clear stamping and specifically I have this in here for these stamps, which are the moon face stamps that I like to use in my daily logs and my bullet journal. I use these multiple times a week. They are stained, they are dirty, but they are well loved and they are definitely a really big essential for me so I like to keep them easy access because when I'm watching a show or just relaxing and listening to some music I'll usually whip these out and stamp out my daily logs and just have some kind of fun journaling stamping moment in my free time. So that is everything in the front pockets now let's move to the back. I don't keep as much in the back just because as you can see there's only three pockets here so starting with the left pocket, this is where I keep my copper index tabs. These are by Midori and they're essentially these little index tabs that you can slip onto pages that you want to easily reference. I do this a lot in my bullet journal for tabbing off my monthly spreads as well as any important yearly collections that I like to reference a lot. And I just keep these on a piece of packaging from a cafe in Toronto because I really like the packaging and I thought it'd be a good way to repurpose it and keep all of my clips together. The next pocket back here has this really strong, oh what's it called, not Ziploc, it's uh, Velcro. <laughs> and in here, this is where I keep my washi samples and I just have them attached with a money clip so they're not flying around everywhere. These are all samples I believe from La Dolce Vita. I think it's a washi tape set by her. Again, all, all the things I mentioned today will be linked below, but I just find it easier to keep these clipped together and slipped into the back. And then I have these ready if I wanna do any sort of 
creative journaling or art journaling. Recently, I actually started a, or I didn't start it, I repurposed my traveler's notebook to be my creative kind of art journal, which I'll make a separate video on that later, but I've been using a lot of my washi and supplies in there and I use stuff like that in there as well. And it's been nice to really repurpose and use that stuff. But that is for another video. Let's get into the main compartment of this pouch. This zip area has four interior pockets as well as a really big space where you could probably fit two or three notebooks. I have my bullet journal in here, which you guys have probably seen a couple times. And while I can fit this very comfortably in the main pouch, I could definitely fit two of these if I wanted. So if I was traveling, I could probably fit two or three notebooks that I wanted to bring on the go if I wanted to. But for now, I just have my bullet journal in here since this is the really only notebook I like to bring around the house with me most of the time. And then besides the notebook in the four interior pockets, I have a couple different things. Starting with my Instax Mini Link printer. This is one of my favorite things to use when doing daily journaling. I love including photos in my daily journal. I feel like it just adds so much to those daily memories and it just adds an extra element of nostalgia when looking back at my entries. Right beside that pocket, I have my sticky notes that I use most. I have some random ones that I just jot notes on and I also have these ones that are little tabs that I like to use to mark off the note section in my bullet journal. In the final two pockets, I keep two of the same thing, essentially. These are the sticker sets by La Dolce Vita. They come in these really beautiful tin cases. And then inside the case is the stickers themselves. So I slip each one of these into one pocket and they fit perfectly, which was a really fun discovery when I was setting this case up. But this is how the stickers look. And I like to use these in my bullet journal. I've lately been adding one of these stickers to my cover page just to kind of set the mood and create a bit of a kind of visual theme, I guess, because I do like to keep my journal pretty simple. I like to kind of keep the layouts the same, but adding this sticker adds that little bit of variety that I look for in my bullet journal every month. So I like to keep these near me so that I have them ready for my monthly bullet journal plan with me. And after taking out all of the stuff in this middle pouch, that actually is a look at everything I keep in this pouch. And I'm just putting it all back for you now, just so you can see how I put things in different pockets and all of that good stuff. I was really happy when I got this pouch to see how many things could fit in here and the versatility of the pockets. And this will be really great when I do eventually travel and go to different places because I don't keep a cover on my bullet journal and it's a soft cover so it is nice to have this extra protection and also I'm able to bring all my supplies with me in one place which is really fun. So yeah guys that was the video. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything in my stationery pouch. If you guys have one of these pouches maybe let me know what some of your essentials are that you like to keep in yours and besides that I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a great day and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody.